Okay, so I hit this one, and then I think, so I think now is when I hit the button to go live, because it's 12. I think we did it. Are you ready? Cool, yeah. Okay, so one of these moments, you're yeah, about just, to get just that. Do you get it? You got it? Okay, if you got it, we're good. We're on. We're live. We're going. How you doing? <laughs> good. How are you? I'm good. Um, so, so I... I we cheated a little and we've been like on Skype for three or four minutes before we started the stream um, because we had to get the tech worked out. And, and Magdalena told me that, that her friends call her Mai. So, um, so I guess it's, is Mai a common, <laughs> is Mai a common nickname for Magdalena? It's actually a shorter nickname for a common nickname. Wait, okay. uh, Maida is usually how they call Magdalena. Okay, cool. I, um, so, so my is, okay, so what do I know? I mean, I just know you from Twitter. Um, so my is a PhD student at Columbia. Um, are you, but you're in the, are you at teacher's college? Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, economics of education crew over there. Um, also a, I think in the tweet, I said public goods provider. I actually think maybe one of the first times that we connected was when I was posting all this stuff about code for getting um, Stata tables into LaTeX. And you were like, I yeah. have, um, you were like, I have sample code. I have whatever. It's all public. It's all posted. But I actually am an R user. Um, and so even, but anyway, so like lots of public goods um, stuff that's up, which was cool. Um, and you're finishing up, like you have this job market paper about, I think about RDD identification away from the threshold, but you know, yeah. if you want to say something about that and you're going to Texas, as long as they let you do your defense on zoom. It should be fine. should be fine. But yeah, <laughs> I'm not worried. Um, I'm not worried at all. When is that scheduled for? April 15th. Yeah. So unless Zoom comes like crashing down or anything, um, I should be fine by then. Um, how so much? Uh, how much? In time a month, have, and I'll let you list that one. How much time have you spent in Texas so far? Not much at all. Um, <laughs> I went for the first time, I think, like um, 2018. Um, we basically just went to try the barbecue. That was a weekend. <laughs> and then you were back. For, um, and, then and then just then the visited talk. a couple of times. So that, um, yeah, have, and then I went back after the job talk for um, a few days, but that's it. Okay, so no, no, not a lot of like house hunting trips there yet or anything like that. Uh, not officially, no. But we love Austin. Austin seems great. It's like kind of like New York, but in Texas, kind of smaller, but still cool. I don't know. We love Austin, it. So Austin, excited. Austin, the New York of Texas. I suspect that we may get, uh, <laughs> we may, we may get some opinions that either agree or disagree yep. with that. Um, and, and so you, you've been doing like one of the things you've been doing is like putting together all of this data about, um, the coronavirus f spread in Chile in particular. Like, is that just like that data is yeah. out there, but nobody's been doing anything with it or like what's, what's going on there? Um, so people have been posting it, sort of how the virus has been spreading in Chile. But um, the cool thing is that the ministry actually put um, the location of the testing centers where people were being tested. Mm -hmm. And that's like a good proxy of sort of where people live. So my idea was particularly Santiago, like the capital city, to see how this was spreading. Um, especially because it started very concentrated in the east side of Santiago, which is like the posh side. Okay. Uh, from people that came from Italy and stuff like that that went there on vacation um, and it's kept pretty concentrated on that side so I wanted to see over time um, how it sort of spread throughout the city given that Santiago is a very segregated um, city in terms of socioeconomic um, characteristics did you grow and up in so far it stayed Santiago? pretty much on the east I did not I grew up in Viña del Mar which is like an hour away to the um, to the coast of Santiago okay so the east side is the posh side, and you're an hour west of the city where you grew up. I mean, I'm not. I'm in another city. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. I, yeah. 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 Um, no. It's just. It's just been cool to see, and like, I. I don't. I'm hoping there's an audience for that work. I feel like we're all. Um, we're all sort of in this like weird data drought about what's going on 
with COVID-19, like locked away in our houses and apartments. Um, probably, I, I realize that you, you blurred your background in Skype so that people can't necessarily see all of the, uh, all the, the liquor bottles behind you, just like the rest of us have um, going right now. <laughs> That is actually all whiskey. This, that's just the whiskey section. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad to think that there are, that there are other sections too. Um, I think, <laughs> like, I think we're at time. Um, this is fun. I'm going to stay on another minute or two Whoa. with you if that's okay. I know five minutes goes fast. Um, anything else you want to tell yeah. the world and then we can just chat another couple of minutes. Um, no, not really. Um, I'll try to stream my uh, defense if Colombia allows me. So if anyone wants to jump in that Zoom um, <laughs> link, I will post it on April 15th. Cool. Let possible. me know. That's when they're doing the, that's, that's when they're doing the snake fight portion. I don't think that works as well um, online. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hang up. Um, it does not. Uh, no? Okay. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll chat another minute, and to anybody watching, see you soon.